uh, in the industry, a lot of artists, rappers, whatever, uh, you know, we have a voice, you know, and of course they're going to listen to our music because that's naturally what, what, uh, or initially what drew, what drew them to us. But, you know, there's also other ways that we could use our voice. And for me, it's like telling other people's stories in their own words, you know, um, because a lot of these different situations affect a lot of us. You know, we all know somebody that's been locked up or is locked up now, or maybe you've been locked up before, you know, the people out there listening. So it's like if that's something we all can relate to. In this particular, uh, the, the docuseries is called In My Own Words. And so the first installment is by design, um, and it's written by a guy named Jib Artisan. He's, he's actually uh, doing 25 to life now. So um, – I just wanted to use my voice for a platform to tell his story because it's similar to, you know, a lot of young black males. He was, uh, uh, I believe he's been in there since he was 16 and he's now what, 30, 34, 35, I believe. So, um, man, the story has to be told, uh, you know, because you want to know where, what the root of it, you know, how did they, what, what made you get to this point in your life? What are you doing to change it? You know, where do you think uh, you fell short or the people in your life fell short? Or, you know, people want to know when you have that background, you know, it, it means a lot more. And I feel like it's something that's very relatable for our uh, young men. Oh, man, he's the dopest, man. He's one of the dopest to ever do it. He made me uh, stay up to par, you know, in the studio. Uh, she he taught me I was just like always a rapper. That's what I did. Every you, you go back to when I was young, they you know, that's what I did. So but you know, when I got to doing it professionally, you know, he taught me how to count my bars and, you know, all that different stuff. Um so man, you know, that's that's big breath. So, you know, shit, I I musically, you know, I strive to, to make him happy, you know, because he showed me, brought me in the game, showed me the way. So it's always salute to uh to Bolo, you know. And, um, man, I don't know, we just, when we would get in the studio, it was always fun, even if it was a serious song, like, we just, we always had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, you know, we would get in that booth, and, it, and you know, that then you turn on, it's all, you, you know, serious mode, but he just a lot of fun, you know, he, <laughs> people think of him as an asshole and all that, he asshole too, but he's also a lot of fun, so, even now, when we all get together in the lab, or just kicking it, or whatever, we, we have a good time, it's like a movie. It's very underrated in the in the West Coast for me, and a seaboard is under like you. Yeah, no doubt. How, how, how yeah. long have you known Sibo? Like, like when did you guys meet? In school or? We well, I you know I knew uh, we knew of each other, you know, but uh, officially, officially, um, I was I want to say eighteen or nineteen when we first officially met and. Um, I started doing, we started doing music together, but, you know, we always kind of knew each other, knew of, you know, it wasn't, we were not never kicking it or hanging out or nothing like that, but we, we from the same, like, basically part of town, you know, well, he's from the gardens, I grew up in the creek, which is not far, you know, so we would, uh, we yeah. would see each other around, but yeah, officially we hooked up when I was probably like 18 or 19, and that's when I started uh, recording Ghetto Blues. Because you guys always complimented each other real well. Do um, you ever want to do an album with Shibo, like a whole project? Is that Was that something you guys ever talked about? Yes, we have. You know, so for the people out there, Sibo, my father, on Instagram, Twitter, all that, hit him up and tell him to, to get knock this um, album out with Marv. <laughs> Heck, yeah, that's what the people want. And I actually, it just would be dope, you know, because I, I feel like um, – we just we do we complement each other. It's just like a natural, you know, a natural flow. So yeah, that's yeah. definitely something I want. I I got a lot of projects I got to put together, y'all. But that's definitely one of them. <laughs> 